Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another video. So, school officially starts in less than four days. I just got back from California. And so I have a lot of prepping to do before school begins in four days because I have done absolutely nothing. I have not looked at my classes since I enrolled. I have supplies to get, I need a new planner. So in today's video, we are going to be prepping the next few days for school because another thing is that I also leave for New York Fashion Week the day that my classes begin. So we have a pretty hectic week coming up with school starting, so let's just get right into it. I'm heading to the mall right now to do some back to school shopping, get some few supplies that I need. I don't need a whole lot just because I am mostly a digital student now. I use my iPad and laptop, but I do love a good physical planner and a few physical notebooks here and there. I am just so excited for back to school videos and fall. If you guys are new around here, I'm going into my last year of university, which is crazy for me. So this might be my last year of like school videos ever. And fall definitely decided to come early this year. I'm looking out my window right now. It is super gray and cold. So I am throwing on a sweater and I have a good feeling that this is going to be a big trend this fall. I have a good feeling we'll be seeing everybody wearing their crewnecks and sweaters like this because it's so cute. But let's head out. <laughs> back let me do a quick little haul i did not get so much because really today was like back to school shopping for alan we got him a whole new wardrobe but i did pick up a few things that i needed for the back to school season that like were musts first off new planner i'm so excited i got this one from indigo it's the exact same as my planner that i got last year but obviously new year baby new planner so this is the 2023 one, obviously. It went from August 2022 to December of next year, but I loved the layout of this one. Also, this year it came with stickers. So cute. One thing I really loved about this planner that I loved last year was it has the month overview, so a full calendar layout. And then the weeks look like this. So they have the full week on one page and on the other side there are notes to do's and then they changed this up a little bit this is a bit different than the one i got last year but it's got a habit tracker i'm grateful for and a top achievement so i think last year this was like extra reminders section but i loved the way that this one was set up also i just thought this was very me it's like green and gold very my aesthetic and then from muji i just picked up a few new pens there was I got an extra black and blue and then a few other colors that I had run out of. But I also picked up a pack of my classic, the five pack colored lined notebooks. If you guys have been around here for a while, 
you know that I always used to use these as my study notes. I like love rewriting my notes for studying for exams and tests. And since I've gotten my iPad, I have honestly just found it a lot harder to write my review notes. There's something about putting pen to paper that just makes studying a lot easier for me. So I last minute in the Muji store decided that I'm going to be like a half digital, half paper student this year and see how it goes. I mean, it's my last year, so I can't really do much else after this year unless I do a master's, who knows? But even then that's a bit different. But what I'm thinking is taking my in-class notes still on my iPad on the slides because that's super easy. And then I'm going to be using these notebooks for my test notes and like my exam notes because a lot of my courses are so memory based. There's something about studying off of paper that I find just makes my brain flow a lot better. I hope that makes sense. It probably doesn't. And that's literally all that I got for school supplies this year because I still have like a ton of highlighters and other pens and like pencils left over from previous years. So I didn't need a whole lot but planner and notebooks were the big things. In terms of the other stuff that I have to do to start getting ready for school, I'm gonna fill out my planner. I need to go grocery shopping because I was away in California. My fridge is like empty. And then just mentally prepare for school a bit as well. I feel like between New York Fashion Week coming up and having been in California for the last week, my brain is not in school mode and I don't think it will be until I get back from New York but we are gonna do our best. It's my last year. We need to finish strong. We need to get back into a school mode. I had just taken off my makeup and I was going to start making dinner, but I realized that there's a bunch of things that I'm out of for what I wanna make for dinner. So we threw on sweats. I'm gonna head to the grocery store and do my grocery shopping now because there's not a ton that I need to pick up for the next few days. So we are just gonna do my grocery shopping for the next few days tonight because tomorrow is also Labor Day, so everything's gonna be closed tomorrow. So I also kind of realized that there's a few things that I need for foods for tomorrow. So we are headed to the grocery store right now, even though it's like 6.30 and I wanted to make dinner. It's fine, we're going. Alright, here's a little evening grocery haul for you guys. Just a few things that I picked up to kind of get me through the rest of the week. Some frozen fruit because I was completely out. Some jasmine rice because I was also completely out. Big thing of cherry tomatoes. This will last me a very long time. Some raspberries, coconut milk. That's for tonight's dinner. Ginger also for tonight's dinner, but this is a pretty big piece that'll last me for smoothies and other things. Some red peppers, tilapia cucumber, my standard Greek yogurt, and then some pickles for snacks. If you guys have been around here for a while, you know, the best snack. Pretty small, just because I did have a few things in my fridge and I just needed some more things to kind of round it out, some more fresh produce and some other things that I was out of. But for dinner, I'm gonna use the coconut milk because I had a can of lentils and I'm going to make a curried lentil like dal kind of. Um, also why I got some ginger, but the main thing I was out of was coconut milk for tonight's dinner. Um, I probably will also either cook the tilapia or some chicken just so I have a little bit more protein in dinner as well because the lentils wouldn't be just enough so I'll either probably cook the tilapia or chicken.
Good morning. In order to also prep for school, I decided it would be a good idea for the next few days to get up early and do a workout, whether it's a workout class or just going to the gym. It's currently 8 a.m. I woke up at 7 and I'm heading to a workout class with Yaz this morning. Um, it's my first time doing Pilates, so this will be interesting. She's taking me to a hot Pilates class. But my schedule is a little bit later this year and I don't have class super early so I feel like coming up on the school year I'll probably try and do like a 6.30, 7am wake up schedule so let's head out. finished our 8 a.m. on a holiday Monday Pilates class. It was crazy hard, but we're going to get pumpkin spice lattes now or something pumpkin from Starbucks. <laughs> so we walked up to Starbucks to go get our pumpkin spice lattes, but they, they were get, we got them for free and free, free croissant, cr whoa, words, free croissants. We're a wee bit confused. We're going bad. <laughs> Ended up also grabbing a hot pumpkin spice latte because it's actually freezing outside again. Fall decided to come early, which is really prepping me for school, but cheers. Um, I'm probably gonna drink this. Maybe, I think we'll look at my schedule, maybe start writing that in my planner. Probably head out somewhere this afternoon to sit and work and you know fully plan out my schedule, get my planner all set, ready to go and like, prep do do some of the actual groundwork prep for school because i have a strong feeling that my class is already uploaded a lot of profs like to like give us work to do before classes even start so so cheers to that <laughs> One thing I'm gonna do before I head out is actually set up a few of my notebooks for my like study exam notes. Not every of my courses needs a study exam book, but I'm gonna look up what courses I'm taking and kind of decide which ones I wanna set up now that I know for sure need a study exam book. Sink into you. If I let myself, I'll sink into you. If love is 
pretend And if I don't keep running I'll let myself just sink right into Into you Let myself just sink right into you Your love is quicksand you guys I just got home from my afternoon of pouring over my schedule of planning of getting my daily planner all set up or weekly planner all set up so I'm feeling a bit more ready for school I have officially one day left before school tomorrow is my last day before school and then school starts so I'm gonna end off this video here because tomorrow is just some basic things like getting my nails fixed and doing more workout classes and just making sure I'm in the flow of my schedule. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little back to school prep with me for my last year of university. Stay tuned for my last first day of university. I can't believe it. I am literally going into my last year of university still. It's very crazy to me, but I will 100% be filming another first day of school. You guys always love that video. so. Stay tuned for that. That'll be coming very, very soon because like I said, I start school very, very soon. So also stay tuned for the LA vlogs, for the New York Fashion Week vlogs. So many vlogs are coming soon. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I just, I can't believe that I start school and I leave for Fashion Week on the same day. It's gonna be crazy, it's gonna be hectic, it's gonna be a great ride and I hope you guys stay tuned for all the videos. But I love you guys so much and honestly, I'm just so grateful for you and I couldn't do any of this without you. So thank you for your support. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Mm -hmm. da, 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 da.